Get these poor nails, man. These are extremely, extremely long. Extremely, extremely long. And I've known this pet for quite a while. We are looking at some nails that I'm about to clip off. Uh, she hasn't come in in a minute. This poor girl, I've been known her a long time. I'm the only one that can do her nails. And uh, it, it's been years now, we're talking like eight, not nine years I've been doing this dog's nails. Look at this. Um, I love mom, pet parent is amazing. Um, I've known this dog a long time. She found me doing toenail trims following a vaccination clinic. I did that every weekend for 10 years, which is where and how I know how to do nails very well. She does a shave down when she comes in. Matter of fact, I thought, I thought, I think finances were, you know, kind of an issue. All right. I haven't used the cone head, but since I'm live and I know she's uh, not always the nicest, I haven't used a cone head on her ever. But since I'm live, I'm gonna use a protective stance here. We're gonna do a toenail trim. Do not try this at home. If you don't know what you're doing, you will hit a vein and then you will not know what to do maybe. Please get training first. Nice. Is it possible I might hit the vein here? Yeah. Extremely long nails. You can't be 100% perfect. Shouldn't have waited that long to begin with. It doesn't mean that I want to go in there trying to quick the nail, making them bleed. I'm not trying to do that. But is it possible that I wouldn't, can't see the vein? Yes, it is. It's possible that just trying to help the pet get these shorter, I might hit the vein which I haven't yet so it is possible I'm sorry sweetie let me give you a little bit of support here let me uh, switch out some here I'm so sorry look at these right here alright let's get to it Going, the nails go fly everywhere. Watch your eyeballs. So it looks like it's been uh, torn already. It's kind of growing back thin. It is what it is. You see this kind of stuff in the shelter all day long, so don't be judging too much. You don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on. They're, they are too long, but I don't know why or what. I think she's, uh, I think it has to do with a little bit of finances, but you can't be perfect in life. Nothing's perfect. That one day where you had a trauma in your life and everything changes and all your finances changes, you will learn like, oh shit, you know. You never know what might happen to you. Never know. Look at these just twisted up into each other. I got you, girl. I got you, girl. This should be just a toenail video. Oh, I know. I know it, man. Let me see. Let me see. I haven't even got it all off. Let me see. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I need you to chill. Let me see. I 
can see the vein here, but that's an awful long nail. But sometimes it, every vein is every uh, nail is different. Ooh, good girl, good girl. Let's see. We're not. She thinks we're done. No, no, not yet. We're gonna. Mama wants to do a shave down. We always do a shave down. So it's nothing new. Shave down is going to, the grandkids love the shave down, she says. As soon as uh, she starts growing out, the kids are like, Grandma, it's time to go get a haircut. There's a big difference on the amount of shedding. Okay, up, up. Good girl. All right, let's do this roll, man, because we are running behind since this was a nail trim turned groom. I'm doing a seven blade reverse on my Andis five speed. It's gonna take off a lot of this hair here. It's gonna take it all off. It's gonna be like what I call a military buzz cut. We've been doing this for many, many, every time she comes in, that's all we do is a haircut and a nail trim. I think she wanted to skip the haircut today until the last minute and she's like, you know what, Dee, go ahead and do it. I think it was because of finances, but I don't know, I'm assuming here, I don't know. But I haven't seen her in a minute. She said, Didi, I haven't come in in a long, long while, but I just need a nail trim. And I said, are you sure you just need a nail trim? You can ask some questions, but I try not to get too personal if I don't, if I don't need to. I don't know what happened, you know what I mean? She was uh, about, about every two to three months, but I haven't seen her in over six months at this point. Look how much hair is going to be gone. Smash the like button, people. Smash the like button if you are enjoying the fact that I am here sharing this uh, groom with you. Smash the like button, please. hair will will be like a needle so I'm trying to like not really handle everything I'm not handling my clippers real heavy I'm not touching her all over the place until all the hair is kind of gone it will be like a needle it's just what it is like a Labrador retriever's hair boy when I first started uh, grooming her the nail trim alone many years ago Mom would always hold, because it was an outdoor event, always have the pet parents standing there holding the pet. And she would be like, rawr, rawr. <laughs> She was mean. And I guess uh, I stopped doing the nail trim things, and she went somewhere else, because she uh, maybe she couldn't find me or whatever. I stopped doing that. And she found me, and she came back and said she had went somewhere else, and she walked in the door of that groomer, and that the dog looked at the groomer and was like, Rah! didn't even do anything. She goes, she was not going to have it, she said. She was not going to let anybody else. <laughs> she walked in just the groomer. She couldn't even get on the table. She was already like, Rah! get that, get me out of here. <laughs> I'll never trust her, though, because I know what she's capable of. I'll never trust her. So much static you know our weather here in texas seems to be all over the place not not figuring out what it wants to do to each their own to each their own i always say if you've never tried it you should try it once and then you'll know but if it's not your pet and it's not harming your pet you th does this hair look like it's not of good quality? Nope. I say it's not your pet, and it's not your child, it's not your husband, it's not your wife. You know, it's none of your business, right? I'm just sharing the work I'm doing. The decision's already made. I don't shave her whiskers off, though.
Actually, I'm using my 10 blade right now, coming back through and just picking up some of this stuff in the safety, what I call safety areas under the tummy, under the back legs, the hind knee, the sanitary, things like that. Just kind of cleaning that up. And now I'm actually gonna just, since the lines look good, I may or may not come back after the bath because I may or may not have to. 